This is a supplementary video to a video that we previously posted that demonstrated how to extend your wireless home network using a TP-Link AV600 Powerline Wi-Fi kit. As the default IP address that TP-Link assigned to our AV600 changed once the AV600 became integrated into our home network, in order to reconnect to the browser interface of our AV600, we will need to find the IP address our wireless router has assigned to our Powerline extender kit. Before we extended our home Wi-Fi, our wireless router and the AV600 work together but use separate wireless access points. So when we integrated the AV600 hardware with our wireless router, we created a single extended wireless network. However, as the router and the AV600 both cannot have the same IP address, the router automatically reassigns the AV600 with a new IP address from the router's DHCP server. So in order to reconnect to the browser interface of our TP-Link AV600, we need to discover the new IP address that our router has assigned to our Powerline extender. On most wireless routers, you should be able to find the DHCP option, which will display a list of the devices that have been automatically assigned with an IP address from DHCP. However, because of the way the TP-Link AV600 works, your router's DHCP may not acknowledge that it has assigned an IP address to the AV600 extender. If this is the case, the only way to discover what IP address has been assigned to our AV600 is to use a piece of software called a network scanner. So in this video, we are going to use a network scanner application to scan our home network and find out which IP address has been assigned to our TP-Link AV600. For this demonstration, we will use an application called iNet Network Scanner, which can be purchased for either macOS or iOS via their respective app stores. Let's open the macOS version of iNet Network Scanner. Upon opening the network scanning software, you can see that the application has retained the previous scan that it has conducted. That scan lists our TP-Link AV600 adapter as using the IP address of 192.168.1.76. So to demonstrate that the IP address being assigned by our router's DHCP server can change over time, let's run a fresh scan of our home network. If we now take a look at the IP address of our TP-Link AV600, you can see that the router's DHCP server has assigned the Powerline extender with a new IP address of 192.168.1.3. Let's now open a new tab in our browser and see if we can connect to the AV600's web-based user interface. If from the address bar, we enter the IP address of 192.168.1.3, when we press enter on the keyboard, you can see that the login screen for the AV600's web user interface loads. Let's try and log in using our administrator's credentials to see the settings for our Powerline extender. So to recap, in this video we used the network scanner to determine the IP address of our TP-Link Powerline wireless extender. We were then able to log back into the settings for our AV600 via a web browser.